I have really bad crow's feet at 25 years old. I have crow's feet. And um, I, this is what I use to try to help that. I feel, though, that I've wasted my time. I don't know why I'm putting this on my face, and I don't know why I keep putting it on my face. This is a waste of my time. I do not like this stuff. How's it going? So today I wanted to share with my amazing subscribers my skincare routine. Skincare didn't always used to be a priority for me. When I was a teenager in my very early 20s, like 20 to 22, um, I just didn't really care about doing a skincare routine and uh, that was really dumb. <laughs> if I could go back in time and like hit myself over the head and scream at myself to do one, I would. Uh, but I certainly have one now, and I wanted to share with you guys some of the products that I have and the pros and the cons, and give you this mama's opinion of how well they work. Okay, so first things first, I gotta wash my dirty face. So, uh, I, this is the kind of cleanser that I use. It's Mary Kay Time Wise, and it's a really good general cleanser. Like, if you just need something that's gonna, you know, wash the dirt and grime off of your face really fast, I recommend this. I'm not going to show you guys the part where I actually clean my face because I do that in the shower. <laughs> it's just easier for me. I'm already there. I'm already wet. Might as well wash my face. And then when I get out, I do the rest of my routine. Um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks like that. I hope you can see that. It's got little tiny beads in it. I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, it's not like for deep cleaning. I wouldn't use this if I needed to really deep clean my face. Uh, I would use something else. But if it, for like a general cleanser, I really do like this. Um, I just occasionally need to go to a different cleanser in order to deep clean my face if I really feel like I need it. This actually comes with like two other bottles. There's a moisturizer and I can't remember what the other thing was because I'm not the one who bought this. <laughs> Somebody bought this for me and gave it to me and they gave me the moisturizer and the cleanser and um, I've used the moisturizer. I like it. It's just not part of my routine right now because I'm trying to use the rest of the moisturizer I already have. So I'll get to that though. After I've washed all the nastiness off my face, uh, this is my second step. I use Versby's Brightening Refining Tonic. Um, it comes out as like a brown liquid and I actually put it on a foundation pad. You can use cotton, I just don't. For some reason cotton likes to come off on my face and then it's just annoying. So I use these instead. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like that. It's really light brown. I don't know if you all can see it that well. But it's really light brownish yellow kind of. And then I just dab it all over my face. I usually start with my chin and I just dab it all over. And then I let it sit. Sometimes I do this. It depends on how big of a hurry I'm in. But uh, usually I just let it sit and dry. Um, I really do love this stuff. But then again, I like anything Bird's Bees. I think it's awesome. I really feel like it does all the stuff that it says it does. Like uh, visibly help even skin tone. I feel like it does that. I have, tend to have kind of a red tint to my face. I really feel like it kind of brings that down. Um, creates a brighter, more luminous complexion. I really feel like it helps my complexion. I don't know if it does exactly that, but <laughs> I really think it helps my complexion. And it removes lingering traces of dirt, oil, and makeup. Yes. Um, I have an oily face. I have oily skin in general. And whenever I use this stuff, I just feel so much better. I just uh, I feel clean, and I feel like the oil's been minimized, and I really, really recommend this stuff. It's great. I mean, it's Burt's Bees, so it's a little bit more expensive than just your regular run-in-the-mill stuff, but I really recommend it. I really love it. I bought it on clearance at Kroger, and I was like, score! So, yes, I love this stuff. After I've put my refining tonic all over my face, and it's dried like it is dry now, uh, my third step is this. It's my Lancome Visionaire Corrector. It's supposed to correct 
uh, wrinkles and pores and textures and I just take a little bit it looks like that it comes with a little wand and um, I actually just take it off of the wand like that and put it on my finger and then I dab it right here close to my eyes um, I have really bad crow's feet at 25 years old I have crow's feet and um, I, this is what I use to try to help that I feel though that I've wasted my time I don't know why I'm putting this on my face and I don't know why I keep putting it on my face this is a waste of my time I do not like this stuff but I keep putting it on there hoping that something will maybe change one day and my skin will be like oh I want to work now this is okay we can use this and it'll just correct it no such luck yet two months later but <laughs> I keep hoping so in my opinion, not the best stuff in the world. I will probably, this is just a sample, but I will probably um, get something else once all my samples run out. Um, it just don't feel like it does its job at all. My crow's feet still looks the same today as it did, oh no, it's been over two months now, over two months ago. I just, no, I don't recommend it. So my fourth and final step is my moisturizer. I'm so torn about this moisturizer. <laughs> I really am. I guess one of my pros is that it's natural. It's Neutrogena Naturals. And it says up here that there's no, I don't know if you can read that. You probably can't. It says no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens. I can't say that word. Dyes and phthalates. I'm assuming that's how you say that. Um, I like that part of it. I like that it's as natural as it can be and still being moisturizer. The con is that not only does it look like that, which is kind of thick anyway when you just have it on your finger, but it also feels thick when you put it on your face, like you're wearing a mask. And I don't know about you all, but I just don't like really thick moisturizers. I don't like feeling like I'm wearing a mask after I've put it on. Like I want it to be light and easy to absorb and you know, that kind of thing. And it, it's just not, um, you can still like feel it on your face like half an hour after you've already put it on there. Maybe not that long, but it, it's a while after you've already put it on your face. You still feel that it's on there. I will most likely try a different moisturizer because this one's just not the best. Um, I like that it's natural. I just don't like the heaviness of it. It's just really heavy. Um, but this is the last part that I put on my face. I try to avoid my eye area because I've already put my long comb on my eye area. So I don't need to do that. I most likely will buy a different one. I just don't know how I feel about it. I've had this for like a year now and I just, I don't know. So, I mean, if you don't care to have a heavy moisturizer that kind of lays there, if you're okay with that, I really recommend it. But if you're not okay with that, don't buy this because it really is like a thick moisturizer and it'll just lay there. I really like my skincare routine. I feel like it works for me aside from my long comb and my really heavy moisturizer. Um, <laughs> um, despite that, I, I like it okay. I'm going to change out those two products. Uh, but I love my Burt's Bees. If you could take nothing else from this video, take the Burt's Bees because it really works and I really like it. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below because I have another vlog coming up really soon, probably in about a week. I am going to try oil pulling and I'm going to try it for a week and then I'm going to make a video and show you guys what the benefits were and if I notice anything different and all that fun stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.